Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. This is Sandy, and this is a Sun Life drawing book. I'm going to be coloring out of Travel Mosaic. I have never colored in this. This is a new book for me, so um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I may do some out of this, some out of another book during the whole month. I have three books, so I will be able to choose from them. If you have a preference, I have the mos mandala mosaics, I have the color Christmas mosaic, and I have the travel mosaic. If there's any pictures that you would like to color along with me in these, please leave me a note in the comments. Okay, let's begin. I really like these books. This is my stress reliever, and um, it's they're just great. I thought I would do the first picture well that's sort of landscape so let me go let me go to the second picture in the book and I'm going to be using different markers here I will be doing some with pencil okay this is looks like it's Big Ben which is great I'll uh, make, make sure that I just have one sheet here I don't want them to go through now, I may have to bring this in closer for me to see and turn it a little. Um, so we'll see where we go with this. Um, I have put in baggies the 22 colors that I was listed in the book. And I labeled it Sun Life Statler pins. So I just have to grab these and I have the colors in them. Now there weren't some red-orange pens here or a tan color in this uh, 42 set. So I will be drawing those colors out of the Sharpie bag or the other bag. This is Sun Life Super Tips. These are the Crayola Super Tips. I do have a big marking pen in there that's tan. And so I sort of, you know, a couple of the colors, your yellow oranges or red orange, things like that, you might have to draw from another set of markers you have. And Sun Life Fila. These are the Fila pen, uh, pens, or sorry, brush tip, dual tip pens. They have a brush at one end and a nib at the other. And I do have my color here for the Bic. Uh, for the light green. That's another color I've had. I didn't have in every single set. I do have my color charts here where I've swatched them. This is Crayola Super Tips. And if I need to refer to that during the time that I'm coloring, I will. Here's the Statler Tri Plus Fine Liners. And I just have these charts to refer to. I these none of these had names or numbers, so I numbered them, and I took a permanent marking pen and marked each pencil with or pen with a number. This is the Fila range, I believe. I don't know how many were in here now. I usually write that at the top, but because you can see some of the beautiful colors that there are in the Fila range of fine liners. <clears throat> um, everyone's talking about the, um, oh, what's the name of the one they're talking about? Well, it'll come to mind, sorry. But there's another brand that everyone's talking about for budget friendly. This is just a page that I scribbled on for the Fila liners. Um, and I might have to refer to that. So anyway, these are handy in case I need to look at them. I might, um, well, what I do with that is I put it on top of the stack so I know which um, color is which number. Okay, I am going to probably start on this building here, these small squares. The bigger squares I'll do with the Crayola or the Fila, but the, the um, Statler Tri Plus I will use on the smaller areas. Okay, let's see. I need color 18 for the chimneys, and color 18 is dark blue. And let me get my paper out for that. Okay, dark blue. 
I'm going to be using 38 for the dark blue, number 38. So let me look for 38. Um, you might have a better system than I do. I'll take them out of here as I find them. I'm going to take out the blues. There's 38. Okay. It's important to swatch your pencils because they don't always match the color of the cap on any set. Um, and so that way you can look at your swatch and you can know exactly what it's going to look like. And I did this on Create Space Paper because a lot of my books are Create Space Paper or Amazon Paper. And I wanted to see how they're going to look because they do look different on other types of paper. Okay, make sure I'm on the right page here, on the right number. 18 is dark blue. Dark blue. Did I take dark blue? Oh, gosh. Bear with me, folks. Yeah, that's what I'm using is dark blue, 38. Now, your pen sets may have a different um, color. It may not be exactly my color of dark blue, but look at your pen set. Pull out the colors according to the guide and go with it because they all come out, even though different uh, pens look different, um, uh, the colors do, they all come out beautiful when you finish one of these Sun Life drawings. Now this is my de-stressing book. I don't deconstruct these, I leave them together. My goal is to complete each book, and at night, like I said, when I feel a lot of stress, I will color these, which is nice because I don't have to think about colors. They tell you what colors to color, and it's just enjoyable with the markers. However, I have done some in pencil, and uh, you can use gel pens. You could use alcohol markers. You could just use about any, maybe even watercolor pencils. You could use any medium that you like. And here's another 18. This is going to be the clock Big Ben in England. So I'm curious to see what the rest of the scene is going to look like. And as you color it, it comes to life and it's real exciting. Uh, you know, I saw these books and I thought, oh, come on. And you might have that attitude like, well, it's like a paint-by-number painting that we've seen for years. And, you know, why would I spend my time doing that? But if you're like me and have stress in your life, and I've had stress my whole life. I've had to battle that. Um... It really makes a difference. Um, actually, I get de-stressed more with these than I do with my other books because I got to think of colors and I got to think of the shading and backgrounds and all that. But this one, I can just sit down and color. Okay, let's go to number twenty now, which is violet. And let me look up on my little sheet here, violet. Is that dark violet or light violet? 20s, light. Okay, so I'm going to get number 5 for my stapler um, pens. And there it is. And then I put these back in my baggie, so next time I want a color, I can just grab them. So I'm going to turn this a little bit, and I'm going to color in 20. And you know, I was never liked water-based markers until I got these books and I started using my Crayola Super Tips and my Fila's and now my Staedtler's. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited about water-based markers. Um, I'm going to try experimenting with the different water-based markers that I have and watercolors on my other drawings but this is really nice and you know because of the black background here if it gets a little wet you're gonna see a change in color but that dries and that'll go away 
and just don't oversaturate because it, you know you can put a hole in your paper. This is create space paper, and these are water based. So just be careful. Now this is mosaic. This is different than the one that Zoe Archer was coloring yesterday. Hers were more of hexagons that are connected in the Pokemon book, and I haven't got any of those books, so. I would like to try those out too and she colored it a little bit I mean you would color it a little bit differently than these because this is mosaic you need these white lines in between each square to show through let's see in this section if there's any more 20s right here and I hope you're coloring along with me I um, would enjoy hearing if you are. Leave a comment. Um, these are just fun books. Fun, fun, fun. And they're my therapy books. That's what I call them. Here's a 20 over here. You know, we all have different problems that we battle in life. And mine may not be what yours are. And then again, it may be similar. So... I hope you don't mind me sharing. Um, I'm hoping you can connect with me on some level. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that and go to number three. Number three is dark brown, and I picked uh, which, uh, 20 and 22, so I'm going to get 22, that's dark brown, uh, numbering these really helps, numbering them really helps, okay, number three, I'm going to turn it a little here to color in number three, and this is just straight coloring, which I really like to do once in a while. I don't always have to be doing things, shading and all that stuff. So, and sometimes if you get a coloring book and you're not sure how to shade or what to do, just straight color because when you're finished, it's going to look good. Same with markers. Um, then again, if you want to learn other techniques, then look at some of the other YouTubers. I hope you'll go to Lisa's Coloring Corner. She's working on this collaboration with me and Joy, uh, Zoe, sorry, Zoe Archer. Check out their channels and see which ones they're doing today. And I hope we're all doing a different one. I think we are. I am. No, Zoe completed this book some time ago, but I've never had it and it's brand new to me, so I thought, well, I'll choose a drawing here and that way I'm not duplicating what she's coloring. Her Pokemon Sun Life drawing book was so cute, and I saw one with, I think it's a unicorn or, I, I don't know, a horse or something on the cover that is sort of the same way the hexacons that you color in and there's been a couple of times when I have been so mindlessly coloring and watching TV that I made a square of a different color than what it was supposed to be and you know what I just went with it and you know each one of my pictures came out beautiful but I am trying to get the correct color that the company, you know, has listed on the chart. We have some, I live in the southwest, we have some cold weather, but not as cold as the Midwest and the East Coast. I can't believe the drop in temperatures. I lived for one year in Chicago, and I am born and raised in California, and that was my first experience, experiencing weather that was uh, with the wind chill factor below zero and the ice that you have to chip off your car. 
and then you have to jump start your battery to get going and we did that for a whole year we love Chicago we love the people we were living in the suburbs in Carroll Stream Illinois and um, but my husband got a job offer in the San Francisco Bay Area and we took it because of the weather and our children were growing up and moving out of the house and getting married and it was a lot better just to be closer to them and now that we're retired we're far away and they're all together and uh, so you just never know what life brings you okay I don't know why I think I'm doing the wrong color here, but you know, sometimes you color this and you think, oh, that doesn't look like anything, and then it the whole scene comes together. Um, these Stadler fine liners are very good quality. I just wish they had more colors. And in this 42 Brilliant set, some of there's a couple that look like they're the pretty close to the same color and I was a little disappointed in that but I'm not disappointed in the quality I was using the Fila's which quality is not as good however that was what I had at the time and they are budget friendly there's a brush at one end and a nib at the other small well like a, like this a um, fine liner and my set the fine liners some of them are real juicy and the others aren't so that disappointed me and that's why I bought these Stadlers which I love because there's plenty of ink and uh, but the color range in the Fila's is much greater and even in the Crayola Super Tips now when I use Crayola Super Tips on these small blocks I have to sort of get down there closer to see what I'm doing so that's a little hard when you <clears throat> when you have a vision problem so but these I can do on camera and there's no problem I know some of you have left comments that you are excited that uh, the three of us, Lisa's Coloring Corner, Zoe Archer, and myself, Color Creatively, have chosen to collaborate and feature Sun Life Drawing Books this month of February. And uh, I didn't realize there were so many fans. And then, too, I went to their website and I requested that I could join. So I've got to go back there today and look and see if they've approved me to join I would like to do that and um, I don't know I guess people are I couldn't see anything because I haven't joined and it was pending so I, I assume they're letting people post their pictures on there that would be great and if you are shy about your coloring go to a Facebook site and post your pictures because that will be the thing that gives you confidence you'll get honest opinions from people and most of them will be very encouraging and uplifting and give you confidence in what you're doing and that's what I did at first so and even though you guys that come to my channel now and leave comments it's just awesome because those comments you have no idea how they encourage a uh, new channel like I have I, well even the older channels they need their encouragement too you know you work hard at YouTube and there's a lot of things behind the scenes that people don't see or know that's going on just to get your video up and post it is a for me it was a major feat because I didn't know those things any of those technical things I mean I never even used a camera before so it's been a learning process the last two months and I'm excited about it um, I thought I would have a YouTube channel and no one would watch it but you know what each and every one of you that's subscribed has encouraged me beyond my wildest imagination 
Um, when I hit 200 people, I am going to have another giveaway. So be um, aware of that and um, keep an eye out for my upcoming giveaway. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away. Might be something totally different than a book. I gave a book away the last time. Micah Jelena and Debbie N. won it. And uh, I mailed it off right away. I hope she'll let Emma. She's going to let me know when she receives it. Now, I haven't had good luck with the post office lately. And, and what gets me really upset, I don't know if you feel the same way, but you send it UPS, and then UPS hands it off to the post office who's supposed to deliver it. And our lovely little uh, person that's a postal person that's assigned to my area is new and he is horrible he a lot of times delivers my stuff to neighbors way down the street or they never show up they go into a black hole so i've had to be on amazon because i order a lot from amazon our local stores don't always carry uh, a bigger a big assortment and this is a small even our big town is a small town so um you know, I've had to go, I order probably everything on Amazon, even, f not everything, but a great majority of my stuff. I'm a Prime member, so I don't pay shipping, and that's really helped. And I even order food items, so it's really been a lifesaver. And um, for those of you that don't know, I went through four years of having six surgeries back-to-back, -back, and the joint, whoops, I got out of the lines there. You know, I have a white um, pen, I don't know what I did with it, let me look, that I will go over that and hide it because I don't like going in the uh, ditch. Um, I don't know which bag I put it in. Oh, I took it to my bedroom because I was working on a Clara Markova. Oh, here it is. I have The Fairy Miracles, Clara Markova, and of all her books, I am just blown away with this is my favorite one of all time. And I mark over here because you can see the white. Um, so it's a book that I want to do every page in. The same with these Sun Life drawing books. I want to do every single page in every book. And these I will leave intact and not deconstruct them uh, like I do some of the other Create Space paper books. But uh, if you have a chance, pop on over to Sun Life Drawing on Facebook and join. Join us. Uh, I, I hope they let me join. And uh, Drop over to Zoe Archer, see what she's coloring in these books this month. And don't forget to go to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Lisa's got some really beautiful things that she works on in addition to the Sun Life. And I was just blown away. She has a stacks of Sun Life books, and I, I didn't know that. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting a little hoarse and sick here. Okay, is there any more threes in this area? Here's one more. And then we'll switch to a different color. So, I'm going to, I may uh, start another picture before I finish this one, or I may just continue with this one. It just depends on what people leave me in the comments as to um, what they want to see. Uh, and this may be old hat for you, and you may say, well, I already completed that. Whoops, I smeared that, but um, it's okay. I can go back with my marker. Okay. And well, let's see if there's any more threes here in this area. Nope, I don't see any. Oh, right here. There could be one or two. It doesn't matter. You can do this any way you want. Um, I sort of get tired of working with one color, so I switch off. And that's why I like to work in a section at a time and move. 
because I get sort of, I don't know, I just don't like using the same color constantly. Oh, here's some more threes here. That's great. So I try to take a section at a time and do that section complete and then move on to the other one. <clears throat> So I wonder how many of you are actually Sun Life Drawing Book fans. That would be interesting to know. Maybe when I go to Facebook I can see how many people have signed up. That's sort of an indication of how popular these books are. And uh, during the month I will be doing other books and drawings, not just Sun Life, but Sun Life is the collaborations focus this month from all three of us, all three of us who have channels. So stay tuned. We're going to see how many of these we can complete. Normally I do this at night when I'm watching TV before I go to sleep, but I, right now because we're doing this collaboration, I'm going to be doing this coloring right now for you guys on, the, on, um, on video. Okay, so let me go to color number four, which is brown. And I believe I picked out uh, in the Staedtler's number 20. <clears throat> I'll tell you, Ziploc bags like this, the slider bags, are one of my favorites. I have arthritis, so I can't get into, um, I, I can't do a lot of things. So these make getting into bags and closing them up again really easy. Here's 20, and that's my um, light brown that I'm going to use. And it's number 4, which is brown. It's not light brown, but brown. I'm using it as a brown. Like I said, your colors may be different from mine. But just go by the list, and when it says light or dark, choose from your pencil set or marker set or whatever you're using the color that you feel rep that, re that represents, and it will come out great every time. That's what's so fun about these. It's like a puzzle, and you see it come to life as you color parts of it. Sort of sort of neat. I remember growing up as a kid and my mother used to sit and do paint by number acrylic paint painting that you kits that you buy. And uh, one year she took a long long time. She would look under a magnifying glass to do hers because she wanted all of the lines and spaces precise, and she um, painted me a really large picture of the Last Supper, and then I couldn't find a frame that would fit it because it was sort of an odd size. So one day, about 15 years later, I was at a garage sale and I saw this, well, sort of ugly picture, but I wasn't looking at the picture, I was looking at the frame, and I measured it, and lo and behold, it was the exact size of the painting my mother had done for me. I bought it, I cleaned it up, I put varnish on it, and it was the most beautiful frame on that picture. With my oil painting, that's what I do too. I will be making a video on my oil painting that I've done. Um, I, the ones hanging in my house are my first ones I ever did. And um, I have these gifts. People have wanted them. I've had people come here and ask me how much I would charge and I just didn't feel that I should charge and so I gave it to them and I have kept the ones that I originally started and I'm sure the ones I gave away were looking a little better but that's okay it makes people happy and that makes me happy 
Okay, let me look for color 17. That is just a blue. And I believe I used 39 on my staplers. Oh, I have them all out already. 39. It's 34. 39. And, um, you know, it, that's what I'm all about, is if people like my art and get something out of it and it makes them happy, then it, it makes me happy. It's exciting. And I love to do things. I love to make things. My dad could sit and, he was a cartoonist, he could sit and just draw a cartoon within less than a minute. And uh, my mother was very artistic. She designed a yearbook for her high school, and she did some Hawaiian tropical paintings, um, sort of interesting. But then they gave up uh, art and when I came along and didn't do it till later in life they started doing it again and that's when I went to try to learn from them things okay let's see now I don't know how long I have been on camera here I'm going to do a couple more things and uh, we'll see where we go 15 is aqua green and I don't know if I used aqua green from here. I don't know if I used the 15. I think I used the 15 or the 40. Let me see. Otherwise, I'll take it out of the other bag. I used the 15 from the statler. That's my number for the aqua green. I love the quality of these pens. I love the triangular shape. I like the way the caps fit on. I like the colors, but if anybody from Stadler is out there listening in any way, shape, or form, please make us more colors. I do think, though, that I did find a 72 color set. It's a dual pen. Um, I'm a, a nib on one end that's larger and the other end that's this size and I ordered them so I want to see if that, how that is but then I after I ordered them I heard that it's not 72 different colors it's only 36 colors so I don't know what I'm getting I'll let you know when I receive them and try them out and I bought them to do, work in these books to tell you the truth and then I also have some Johanna Basford books where the her drawings are pretty tiny and I need to have something to get into those areas. So I'm hoping they work out real good. I'm trusting this company. They seem to have good quality. Um, I need to ask Zoe and Lisa what, what company they buy from on fine liners. I don't know what they use. Okay, I'm going to do 15 up here. I need to start watching my clock to see how long these videos are, or aren't. But I think I've got some of the battery problems solved and some of the problems of my camera shutting down. So all in all, I think this cheap of camcorder I bought is going to work out. It was just rough in the beginning getting the things to work and some of it was me because you know, dense. I didn't know anything about things. Okay. I have a couple down here to do.
Yeah, now that I saw Lisa's, Lisa from Lisa's Coloring Corner, her big stack of these Sun Life books, wow, would I love to have them, all of them. But, you know, financially I don't do that. I can't do that, so I have to be careful what I spend and be mindful and I should work in, you know, you get this stack of coloring books and then some of them you don't even work in. So there's going to be a month this year where I work in books with Shalene from the Coloring Book Nook. And we're going to work in books that we haven't, whoops, I think that I got a little too much on there. Uh, books that we haven't uh, colored in before. I am going to be working this month with her on pictures of frogs or frogs and pictures so keep that keep an eye out for that I still have other books that I want to work in and color and chat and I have also demos for different techniques that I want to do but you know you lay in bed and you get all these ideas I write them down, but it, it takes a while sometimes to implement them because you have a life and that you have to live and things you have to do. And days seem to just fly by. I thought when I wasn't working anymore and I was retired that I would have all of this time to do stuff. And now I, I think I'm busier than I've ever been. And the days are just flying by. Even faster, I feel, than when I was working. And some of you may have young children you're raising, so that does take time, and they have activities and things that you have to participate in. Okay, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. I don't know how long this video is. Next time, I promise, I'm going to watch my clock a little better. And I want to show you the book again. This is Travel Mosaic. These are famous places around the world. So, thank you for coming by. I will try to make my videos the same length each day if possible. I don't know. I'm working on that. So bear with me. And once again, until we meet again, happy coloring.